it's going to be so much fun, so much fun, so much fun. Okay, there is a question in manifestation community that almost everyone not almost, sorry, everyone wants to know an answer to. And that question is, of course, how to manifest your specific desire to get exactly and specifically that thing you want and not just something similar, not just something almost that, but how to get that exact thing. And hey... I'm Koti, I'm Koti Ta, I'm your host today, and I know the answer. And I'm going to give you that very specific answer. But it's not going to be the first time I will do it. And what used to happen so many times before when I was like answering, it's like, hey, listen, here's like step by step how to do it. Like, wait, you're, you're going to get that step by step. People were commenting, so Coty, you're telling me I cannot have what I want. And no, I'm not telling you that. I'm giving you step by step how to get it. But here's the thing, and we have to start with this. We, we all, we as a community, we are used to certain how-tos, certain methods that doesn't necessarily work. But instead of just to like fix what doesn't work, we are, yes, yeah, so let's push more. Let's try again. Let's just, yep, yeah, I think it for sure I'm doing a mistake, for sure I need to do, be doing something else because it's supposed to work. <sighs> but listen, you heard an advice to, I don't know, control your thoughts more, to imagine just specifically exactly what you want, to visualize it, right, in your imagination three times per day. You heard this advice many times before. And it didn't work. That's why you're here. That's why you are listening to me right now. And my advice is going to be very, 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 very different. And the main thing that it's going to make my advice different is that it's going to work. So let's go. First thing we need to talk about is that Actually, it's not possible to manifest something that is not specific. You're always manifesting specific things, even if you don't know about it. And that is because, first of all, all of your desires are very, 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 very specific. Even if you think that you want something general, if if that if you have an impression that your desire is like you don't really know what you are that means i'm sorry to tell you or actually happy to tell you maybe that you have some conscious energy work to do because your mind your conscious mind you know the the, the, the one that talks to you in thoughts the thoughts that are in the language in english or in any other like, language that you think in, uh, this mind, it, it knows only like surface level of stuff. There is a part of you that knows all the answers and that knows all of your desires and that knows all of the details of your desires and that is your subconscious. Or your irrational mind. This part of you that doesn't speak English, that doesn't speak any other language, but that speaks energy. <sighs> Let's do a quick exercise right now, if you are not driving, of course. 
right? Close your eyes and think into the first desire that like pops to your mind. It can be like, what to have for lunch today? That's okay. Like, think about it. Okay, maybe what, what you just got. Was it an image? Was it a word? Was it... That was some mm, specific thing that in the same time wasn't very like specific. It just take like, very easily to tell about, to, to, to tell about it to someone, right? I saw mm, pasta or I thought about pasta. I didn't saw it, but you know, there was this like, I just like idea in my head without the wall, without an image, without anything like that. Okay, but when you have it, ask yourself, why do I want it? Or what does it mean? In this moment, do you feel the explosion of meanings showing up in your head? How do you expect it to taste? How do you, because even if you want pizza, all right, maybe you are one of those people who are like pizza with anana that like that's that that doesn't count as pizza. Is that you? Then yeah. <laughs> you just your first thought, very rational one, was like, yeah, I just want a pizza. But actually it has meaning for you, very deep meaning that is only for you. That for you means pizza. This is the second episode of this podcast. If you want to know more about this, of like how this like energy and meaning and stuff with manifesting works, go to the first episode, check it, and check it out there. I was explaining in it how it is, how does it happen that sometimes you just pack passing thought about something and it manifests so easily. I was explaining there what actually happens in your imagination, in your consciousness, when what you are aware of, right? What's like very easy for you to spot. Oh, I had a passing thought and then didn't thought about it anymore and it happened. Actually, there was like a lot, a lot happening inside of you, inside of your imagination on a deeper level that's responsible for you getting this manifestation of your passing thought very quickly. There's like a lot of stuff happening because always, 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 always you think that you want the 3D manifestation, like a 3D object. And that is never true. (laughs) <laughs> that is never true. How to know it? Because your you never you would never accept your manifestation unconditionally. Uh, sometimes we are so desperate that we are able to say like, yeah, I just want it, no matter what. But actually, that's never the case if you are crazy about the person and you want to be with them and like feel like yeah i just want them Uh, but if you know that they are going to be abusive for you or that they are going to die soon do you still want them that much or uh, if you want to manifest money what about situation when I'm giving them to you, but you are not allowed to never ever touch them and spend a penny? Does it still count for you? Like technically you will have this like millionaire status because yeah, they are like technically the money are yours. Just yeah, you can't actually spend them. Is it what you want? Of course not. So you, it's so easy to think, okay, in 3D, I want this. I want that guy and I want that job in in that place, in like, 
this this uh, this hours like anything like that or i want the table i want a black table you know like foldable like whatever like really whatever that's the surface level of your manifestation and if you ever had the situation and i guess you did that's why you are by the way so crazy about getting specifically what you want because in the past it happened that you kind of got what you wanted it was similar to it like on the paper it looked like that but in practice in the real life it was nothing like you wanted and that's why right now you are so crazy about getting like yeah, this this and nothing else <sighs> but what's important and that's the most important message from like this podcast or maybe that will you will ever and here from me is that the reason why you were unhappy with your manifestation in the past why it was you manifested kind of what you wanted but not fully what you wanted it was because you wasn't manifesting what you wanted you focused on a 3d details and in 3d you got it but you ignored your actual full real desire that was there that was so familiar to your subconscious it was probably like screaming to you about it but you ignored it and you pushed for in 3d it needs to look like this probably also in this time like not probably for sure you were feeling <sighs> yeah just just the wrong feeling was there and as a result you manifested something that looked like you wanted but not what you wanted <sighs> this is so common if you belong to those people who are like crazy yeah free will that doesn't exist it exists and i'm sorry but if you are like yeah free will doesn't exist and i can have whatever i want and i'm manifesting my person and your person showed up in your life but <laughs> you don't have the relationship with them like you wanted to so kind of you manifested them but <laughs> honestly you are not so fulfilled you are not so happy with what you got as you thought you were wanted like this this is your situation you manifested something that looks like what you wanted but that's not even close to what you actually wanted and that's because one more time step back your true desire is never about just the 3d manifestation your 3d manifestation is always 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 like the tip of an iceberg something that yeah you can see touch smell taste that's it but it belongs to the bigger picture it belongs to circumstances it belongs to certain lifestyle it belongs to certain state identity feeling of who you are that means if you are crazy about manifesting your specific person what do you truly want is not only that person in your life but you want to have a happy relationship with them you want to have a great communication you want your parents to be proud and his or her parents to be proud and accepting maybe you want kids or a dog or to live together or to travel together your desire for real is so much bigger than just to have this person in your life 
And if you heard ever before about me or any other manifestation coach telling you that your desire is about you, that you need to have, that you have to make it about you, here is what it means. You are manifesting by your state of being. What does it mean? That means that you don't manifest by pointing, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. But you know that certain things, certain stuff is real about you and about their reality. And it's something like, I'm always paid less than I should. Or all of my boyfriends cheat on me. Or I'm always the lucky one. <laughs> I always end up getting um, what I wanted. Just like two positive, let's say, and two negative examples. That's the state. Who you are. What role do you play? And this your state, that's like feeling there. It's a certain energy. It feels somehow. And this, this is what is giving you your specific manifestations. That's why if you felt heartbroken, lonely, abandoned, desperate, whatever, and you were pushing for specific partner, doesn't matter right now if that was like specific meaning that the real person existing to have something in common with you, or that was what I did once, right? <laughs> that was like probably the most famous of my like, kind of success stories, because I once made a list of the qualities and everything about my perfect partner, the perfect guy I wanted. It's like, it's so many, 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 many details on it. And just a couple of weeks later, that was something like three and a half weeks, I met this guy. <laughs> I actually met this guy and we were dating for a while, but it didn't work out. You know why it didn't work out? Yeah, because there was no feelings between us. It just wasn't it. There was no chemistry, no no warm feelings, nothing. Do you know why? Because that's exactly specifically what I was manifesting. I was feeling so disconnected, so heartbroken, so afraid of like feeling anything to anyone again, but I was pushing that, yeah, 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 guy like this, guy like this, guy with like this eye color and like this hobby, I want him. And that's what I got. And you, if you are in any cycle in your life, if you have like any, like yeah, every job that you're manifesting is like that, oh yeah, every relationship that you're manifesting is like that, you manifest money and then you lose it all, anything like this, it's probably because you on repeat manifest specific thing that's supposed to mean something else that it actually means for you. For example, you look around, you see people in great marriages, right? So you want, yeah, I want a partner, I want a partner, I want a partner. But in the same time, you had so many crappy experiences with relationships that for your subconscious, subconsciously, that's what you expect to get again. And that is what you are getting again. That's what I mean by you always manifest specific things. Because it's not possible to just 
manifest an item, an object, out of nothing. It's always made out of some energy. The energy you're in, or you can call it a state of being, it always fits. That's why if you feel loved, in love, it, it just like great and flowy and like, you're in love with your life. And here from this point, you want a partner, you're getting it. You're getting someone exactly like you always wanted and you always needed. And it's just great. But if you're heartbroken and you're expecting, okay, he's going to be asshole again. Even if you're keeping this, this part, he's going to be asshole again in your subconscious, meaning you're ignoring it. You're not thinking about it. You are, or you are faking positive thoughts and not touching your actual feelings. You're manifesting the same crap again. Our world, the 3D matter world, is made out of energy. That means that every single manifestation in your life, your husband, your cat, your car, your clothes, this is hardened energy. This is hardened energy that belongs to what? To your state of being. Yes, even your clothes counts. Because if part of your state or your state of being is thinking, assuming that you, you, you just don't look like you should, you will never have a good looking clothes that will good look on you. In the opposite way, right? Learning what the state of being is. What's this whole thing of energy hardening into things? Understanding this concept is half or more or like three, four of understanding actually manifestation and how it works. Because if you are thinking that your state of being is your I am sentence, it's not it. If you are successful, how does it influence your whole life? What does it mean for your finances? What does it mean for your friendships what does it mean how is it reflected in your clothes in your home in your pets and so on it's never just one fact no it's always a big picture you are always manifesting a big picture i'm coming back to it right that yeah energy big picture your subconscious knows it because it's not like that uh, that you are truly not aware about things about what you want and what you are manifesting the joke is that you actually are aware of it but you are just not thinking about it. You, those are the things that you know, but you don't want to think about, that you don't want to know and that you are trying to ignore. And because of that, sometimes other people know us better than we are because they just look at us, observe what we do, what we say, what we say. And yeah, see the things that we don't want to tell ourselves about. And after saying all that, can you already guess what's the answer to how to manifest your specific desire? You have to energetically go for the energy your specific desire is made of. And to do that, you have to make your desire, not just in 3D, I want that, but this whole how I want 
my world, my reality, my life to be transformed, you need to make this conscious. And for that, I'm such a huge fan of the question, why and what for and what does it mean? So, remember the, the exercise we're doing on the beginning of this episode? Do this. Think about that specific, oh yeah, that car, this color, this model, working for like this company, being with that person, why I want it. What else am I going to get more than just this, this manifestation in 3D? What's going to change or what I expect? is going to change in my life. What does it mean for me to be driving this car? What does it mean for me to be working for this company? What does it mean for me to be with that person? Why I want it? Why I want it? And this, this question, why? why this is the most potent one and when you do this notice that your the first moment when you ask yourself okay but why i want it your first reaction is oh my god that's stupid like is she crazy what does it mean why i want that thing because i want it right this this reaction is there because your logical mind, that one that speaks English and communicate with you using thoughts and words and sentences, it just doesn't know. It's not this department. You have to go deeper to the subconscious. So close your eyes. Ask yourself, okay, why I want it? And tune, look inside, see What's showing up inside of you? Catch that energy and go there. How does it feel? What images pop up in you? What pieces of information? Catch it all. Ask some more. What does it mean? What do I truly want there? That is how you are learning to understand your desires. And you have to understand your desires if you want to, A, be fulfilled and actually have everything you want. B, if you want to manifest fast. Because that's something you will probably not believe me, but check it in practice. Because you can be, I want this specific thing. I want this specific 3D manifestation. And you may be hitting your head to the wall for weeks, months, even years. Feeling, oh, it's not there. And because you feel it's not there, it's, it's still not there. But the moment you go into the energy of it, the energy it's made of, magic happens, it starts flowing. And by the way, I know that you heard so many times before that you have to know exactly what you want to manifest it. But here's the thing, knowing exactly what you want is not knowing your 3D details about it. Knowing what you want to manifest it is knowing this, what energy it's made of. Like a quick reminder, everything in your life is hardened, hardened energy. And if you just push for having the specific thing, you will manifest it. You will manifest something that looks like what you wanted, 
that on the paper kind of it's what you wanted but it's not going to be it that's not going to make you fulfilled that's not going to be happy maybe you are not even going to sustain it yeah if you are like yeah i caught it i manifested my specific person but he's like cold and hot and i am i'm so confused like this <laughs> this is why because you are in wrong energy you are not where you want to be so why you wanted to manifest him or, or her why to 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 experience what what he he's he or she is a representation for you of an energy of like certain lifestyle something that you truly want so <laughs> what's that make it conscious and embody it embody that energy embody the state the version of you that lives in the reality where it's all done not just yeah he's with me no it's not about pretending that the guy yeah, i'm like constantly talking about guy yeah, i'm straight right like the, the guy is with you it's not about pretending that the guy is like with you and obsessing about him. He's going to like run away, uh, block you, move to another country, do stuff like that. No, it's not about chasing him as the source of your happiness. No, because he's not the source. He's a manifestation that belongs to the reality that you are source of. What do you want to experience? Embody that. And I tell you, he'll respond. Or you will wake up one day and you will be like, why Why I was so happy that I, I, I ever wanted him? Like, what I was thinking? He's not worth it. And someone else is going to show up. And if you are afraid of this, yeah, that's the topic for another episode. To do that just quickly, let me ask you, what do you prefer? You prefer to be happy and fulfilled and have everything that you truly want? Or you prefer to be chasing something that you think you want? This is yours. Last Thursday of March. So in kind of two weeks, I will host a free masterclass on manifesting without techniques. Yeah, we're going to talk way more <laughs> with details about this whole feeling into the energy of your desire and feeling into the right state. It's going to be called Make Manifestation Click for You and Get anything you desire so i'm already super excited about it and to join us subscribe using the page subscribepage.com slash and if you don't want to wait i have a membership it's called i have it all membership all of the master classes are included there so it's your huge library that you can go access binge watch yeah if you want to learn right now about what's the state and how to manifest for example your specific person and how to make happen your specific change in your appearance anything like that or you struggle with your past or you want to manifest money because right now in march and it's available to 10th of April. Make many, many mini training. It's really good. I'm super proud of it. So to join, I have a all membership. Go to kotita.podia.com and it's there. It's going to be first offer that you'll see. So See you in two weeks for a live masterclass. And if you have a specific topic, yeah, specific again. If you have a specific topic that you want me 
to record my next podcast about and do like a little a little rant about it, like how to and what to da 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 da. Leave the comment. Leave the comment under this recording, especially if you're on YouTube, or just find me, DM me, send me an email and tell me about it. I really, 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 really want to hear from you. And thank you so much. See you. Maybe not see you. Hear you again.